Throughout history, artists have wrestled with depicting the concept of death in all its different guises, whether terrifying or sublime or comical. This program has been given a title, Dances of Death, so your piece, Totentanz, is based on this, this work of art. It was a freeze. A it freeze, a yeah. A freeze on cloth with a poem. On cloth, yeah. Yeah, but with poems underneath. So that's a fusion of visual art and of text, yeah. and now with your music, you know, yeah. the music inspired by that. Yeah. What, do you, what do you think it is about death that uh, is such fertile ground for artists? You know, things like operas wouldn't be uh, operas without some fantastic, you know, stabbing or someone jumping off a, you know, wall or whatever. You know, those moments are what, are what makes it exciting. Of course, they're what makes the, that character, in a way, matter. <laughs> Yes? Is it about the hedge? I have to say, there is a comic element to this, you know, in a way. The whole thing of seeing these these grand characters at the beginning, like the Pope and the King, being talked to like that by death with complete impudence and disregard for their status would have been very entertaining to the audience. And there was actually a comfort they well, you know, they're going to get it as well. But it's a parallel a little bit with kind of the modern day entertainments with of violence or horror movies or the sort of thing that people enjoy going to see, which are actually kind of, you know, petrifying if you really think about what they're saying. It's the best role to dress up in a, as a skeleton and kind of, you know, um, rattle things at people. It's, it's, it's fun. It's also the, the ultimate mystery and the most serious subject that you can, so it's good for artists to kind of deal with. Composer and conductor Thomas Addis deals with the concept of death, conducting the L.A. Phil in his own music, alongside music of Jean Sibelius and Camille Saint-Saëns. The program Dances of Death takes place Friday, February 10th, and Saturday, February 11th at Walt Disney Concert Hall.